So count me in for hashtag remaster thousand year door. What's up guys? I'm the philosopher, I'm Stone, and I welcome to Philosopher Stone. Uh, earlier today, Arlo is a gaming channel. He released a video talking about um, hashtag remaster thousand year door where he just fucking goes on a fucking rant about how much he wants Nintendo to do a remaster of the Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door, one of the most beloved GameCube games in existence, and one of the, in my opinion, best. Yeah, there were a couple of things that kind of bothered me about it. I can get into that a little bit later, but overall, it's a really fucking good game. A sequel to another really fucking good game, to uh, Paper Mario on the N64. Uh, it's a really good series, as far as I understand. Um, I have not played past the Thousand Year Door. I do want to get Super Paper Mario, and that's the reason I haven't played the other ones yet, mostly, is because I have not... I, I have this thing where I like to play games in the order that they came out, and the exceptions that I make are only for, like, really, really long series that I have not been following from the beginning anyway, such as Sh Shin Megami Tensei slash Persona slash Digital Devil Saga. I actually did be, play Digital Devil Saga. I didn't beat it, but that's not the RPG we're talking about today. We're talking about Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door. It is quirky. It has its own fucking brand of entertainment that is not even replicated by the Mario and Luigi games, which are fucking good in and of themselves. Uh, and let's not forget that they both spawn from the Paper Mario RP the Super Mario RPG Legend of the Seven Stars. Uh, Honestly, probably one of the greatest games ever created. Nintendo, if you do recreate something, honestly, I would hope that it's fucking Star Fox 64. <laughs> but if it was not that, it would be these fucking Mario RPGs. And you guys already made remakes of a couple of the Mario and Luigi games. Fucking Paper Mario has declined in sales and in appeal since the, paper, the Thousand Year Door. Basically, people say that um, Super Paper Mario is good, but not the same. Uh, I, ha I would know I haven't played it, and that the other games after that are kind of just crap. And so, like, I don't know what the deal is with that, but I will say that I last year I played Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door for the very first time, I, um, I didn't 100% complete the game, as I tend to do with games, but I did do all of the help missions in the town, and I did as many of the recipes as I could, and I even went down the pipe of a thousand trials or whatever, for as far as I could. Uh, it, it was not that bad. It, it was quite the enjoyable experience, and I do like that the Paper Mario Thousand Year Door game also takes place far away from the Mushroom Kingdom, with new characters and a new story to explore, and fucking, it, it was just, it, it, it was just a, such a grand departure from what Mario is used to, and people seem to like those grand departures, with the exception of Super Mario 2, but that's like, hit or miss. Don't do the meme thing, I swear to God, in the comments, if you say hit or miss, I guess you never miss, huh? I'm gonna fucking explode, like, legitimately, and I'll make you come to my house and clean up the fucking mess, and then, after after I recover, you can watch me play some Thousand Year Door. Uh, the things that bug me about the game, and this is a little bit spoiler territory, so if you haven't played the game yet, I uh, don't have a means of putting a timestamp, but just, like... I don't know, I'm going to talk about the fucking game. So there's this part with a race called the Punies, and then these little, like, insect creatures. You kind of see a hint of them early, early on in the game, but, like, later on you meet one, and his name is, like, Punio, and he's named after Mario, and something about his tribe getting kidnapped, and he fucking asks Mario to help him, and you have to, like, rescue these Punies from this tree, and you have to make sure you have all of them in tow when you exit this tree and there's a fucking time limit and it's the fucking worst it is the goddamn worst and i hate it 
and I'm never ever playing through that game all the way again just to avoid having to do that. But I still think that Nintendo should remake the game. The other part of the game that fucking sucks is actually really good story-wise. But it's just so long and drawn out and if you're not paying attention it'll make you do parts over again. You, you have to actually like actively pay attention to what's being told to you by the game. It's called the Glitz Pit. And it's like the fucking World Wrestling Federation of Mario and there's crazy over-the-top characters. There's awesome fucking smack talk. There's behind-the-scenes stuff. There's a fucking mystery to uncover at the Glitz Pit. But the mechanic is that you have to register to do your fights and there's a certain clear a certain win condition for the fight like if you win the fight you still get your experience points and coins but it'll set you back a match and you have to fucking do it all over again and it's random every single time so you have to fucking pay attention to what it's telling you to do and yeah you can sit there and do it wrong on purpose and grind for hours and be just fucking OP when you come across the final boss that's possible but it is so goddamn tedious and then it it's also like very not explanatory like at all like you have to scour the area and find what you're looking for it, it is not straightforward it does not point you in the right direction uh, it tells you bits and pieces but like a, a lot of it's really vague I don't know maybe I'm wrong maybe it was fucking easy but I was watching a homie of mine live stream the game and he was having a tough time in the same area and I was like, I really wish I could help you more, but I, f I don't know where to go because it took me forever. It was like, oh my god. Uh, but do I think that Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door should be remastered? Ah, heck yeah. Like, it's one of the best Nintendo games ever made, I would argue. Um, I, I would argue that it's one of the best RPGs I've ever played, and I, I've played quite a few RPGs. Uh, I love the battle system, I love the the level up system, I kind of did it to myself, but I made my playthrough way harder than it needed to be by working on maxing out BP before starting to work on my FP, and just the only increases to my HP were HP badges that, yeah, um, and no, I did not find all the badges. I did not cook all the recipes. Uh, I did not win the lucky lucky lottery. 100%ing uh, that game is something else entirely. Uh, but people would, I think people would buy it. I think if you advertised it right, like people would buy it. There, there are people who have wanted Paper Mario to go like back to its roots style for a while now. Fans have been clamoring for not Color Splash and not Paper Jam and not Sticker Star. And, you know, just to go back to what it was in the early days, and we've seen from other companies doing a similar move where they'll reintroduce a character through an HD collection to see if there's interest in the sequel. And most recently, coming to mind are the Crash and Spyro remakes um, and those generate so much hype that Spyro is being put in the Crash Team Racing remake and I don't know what they're gonna do from there but I'm hoping that Activision will actually like continue the series kind of perhaps maybe another big example that comes to mind is Sonic Mania slash Sonic Mania Plus I'm really really hoping that Sega lets those guys create the next Sonic game uh, there were rumors that started last year about how it's going to be a Sonic Adventure 3. Uh, I, I haven't heard anything new about that at all. Uh, but what do you guys think? Like, there's this e-petition. You can find that on Arlo's video. I'm not going to link it. Fucking take that much time out of my day. Or, like, go to Twitter and post a post with the hashtag remaster thousand year door if you really think this is a good idea. Because, like, I guess... In some interview, some lady from the team said that if there was enough fan outcry, they might do it. Like, so, so I don't know what what is there to lose 
if you think that the game is worth remastering, just go do the Twitter thing. Uh, I'm the philosopher. I'm stoned. Take care.